1974, when I started my firm, it was me and a secretary. Something had to be done with the big companies that were selling asbestos and producing asbestos products, not only in this country, but all over the world. And Stephen was one of those pioneers who went after it. We've gotten a little bigger since then. We're now 23 or 24 lawyers. Uh, we've got 80 staff members. Our focus is almost entirely on representing mesothelioma victims and their families. Stephen Kazin is sort of the trailblazer of so many different aspects of asbestos litigation. Some of the landmark cases that, that happened well before I started working here. I fell in love with the clients. Uh, they were interesting cases and we just started doing more and more of them. Uh, we started getting some good results. We started working with doctors who were treating these folks who would ask us if we could help their patients. And so our practice just kind of grew. On a national level, he's been involved in developing the framework for how cases are litigated, the level of compensation that clients are allowed to receive. He's been extremely involved in the framing of the bankruptcy trusts that are in place uh, throughout the United States and maximizing the compensation uh, for people who are most ill. I personally, in recent years, have really focused on asbestos bankruptcy work. As these companies go and hide uh, from their victims, you know, we work to get them reorganized, get as much money as possible into trust funds for the benefit of their victims. He's been a, a trailblazer in fighting back all the legislative efforts that have been attempted to limit the rights of people who have mesothelioma. This was not a secret that this was killing people. Uh, there are ways to protect people from dust in the air, like exhaust fans, respirators, dust masks, etc. But by deliberately failing to warn people, even though they knew of the dangers, they were exposing generations of workers to a deadly risk, uh, and there was no reason for doing that. So we're not fighting just on behalf of people who suffered from asbestos. We're fighting on behalf of every victim who suffered from corporate bad behavior, both in the past, and hopefully it will prevent them from doing bad things in the future. They'll know that there will be punishment if they treat people poorly. Fighting that fight against companies so that they never do that to anybody again, that definitely gets you blood going. And we think we're the best at fighting that fight. We have a foundation, and our foundation gives a lot of money to medical research. We identify the medical facilities that we think are on the forefront of developing the cure for mesothelioma, and we support the medical research that's being done there. We're also funding research into how do you find a cure for this? Right now, mesothelioma, there is no known cure for mesothelioma. Um, and we're very hopeful that what we're doing right now, the best result would be that it's obsolete because we can find a cure for this disease. The term mission is the word. And the mission is to help the injured party and the families. These folks deserve representation. And this is what we do every day, prove where the exposure came from uh, and to try and help people.